Okay, so here we have question number eight, which is a question that was actually requested, not question number six. Of October, November 2016, paper four, variant three. Now, this is a question about areas and volumes, and um, you've got here things to do with sectors and triangles and all sorts of stuff. So lots of different things involved in this question. So let's start off with part A. Okay, in this question, it tells us, let's see what they tell us in this question. Let's get the pen ready. Okay. The diagram shows the cross section of a cylinder, center O, radius R, lying on its side. So it's like you've got a cylinder, which is like lying down on its side. Try to make it as good as I can. It's like a cylinder lying down on its side, like a Pringles packet, packet of Pringle crisps. Okay. And it's like you're looking at it from, you know, straight ahead. So you're looking at it like this. That's like the lid or the base of the, of the packet. And, um, you know, this is called the cross section, the part of the shape that stays the same all the way through. Okay. So this is the cross section of the cylinder. Okay. Center O, radius R, lying on its side. The cylinder, cylinder contains water to a depth of, 20, of 18 centimeters. So 18 centimeters is the depth of the water. It goes up to there. It doesn't fill the whole cylinder. Okay. And the width AB of the surface of the water is 24. Now, of course, the surface of the water is like the chord of a uh, circle. The chord is a line, a straight line, which joins two points on the circumference of a circle. Now it says use an, an algebraic method to show that r equals 13 centimeters. Okay, use an algebraic method to show that r equals 13 centimeters. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. What we have here is the following. We need to find the value of r. Okay, what do we know here? We know this is a chord. We know this line meets the chord at right angles. That's the radius, meaning the chord. That's part of the radius. Now, where the radius meets the chord, if you continue on, if you continue this on, it would be like the radius, wouldn't it? Go all the way to the end. Okay. Where the radius meets the chord, okay. If the radius meets the chord at right angles, then the chord is bisected. So if I know, let's call this point M. Do you know what the M's are there? No. Okay, so this is the point M, the midpoint of the chord AB. Right. If the radius meets the chord at right angles, then that chord is bisected, cut into two equal halves. So this is 12 centimeters, and this is 12 centimeters. So we know that. So now we have to show that r equals 13. So I've got to have an equation which uh, you know can link r with something else, and I should be able to make an equation with, with, out of it. So so far, what I see here, it, the picture is becoming clearer that we've got like a, a right angle triangle. Okay, we know that this is R. We know that this is 12. We know this is a right angle. Okay, now, a right angle triangle, there's certain things which apply to them, and one of them is called Pythagoras' theorem. If I was to be able to find what this is in terms of R, I would be able to make an equation and then use an algebraic method to solve for R. So how can I express this? This is O, and this is, I've called it M. I called it M. It wasn't called anything before. Okay, how can I express this in terms of R? Now, what can we see here? Well, I can see something that might help us. Okay. And that is that the length from the top to the bottom here, that length is 18 centimeters. And the length from this point down to there, well, it's R, right? You can see it's R. So that means O to M is the difference between this line and that line. If you want to find what this length is, it's going to be 18 minus R. So this will be 18 minus R. So this here, this here, oops, so big, must be 18 minus R. So I've now found a way to link these R, link R together in an equation with some other stuff, which I can then try to solve algebraically. So I know, can I take this all down together? Can it work? Okay, a bit too much. Put this one back. Okay, now I know 
that with this I can link them together using Pythagoras' theorem. Now the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two shorter sides in a right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side and the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. So you have r squared equals 12 squared plus 18 minus r all squared. Now that's an equation. I can try to um, solve this equation. Okay, so I have to do some expanding and simplifying. So this side says r squared, that's simplified. That's 144 plus. Now don't make that mistake, which is a very common mistake that many, many students make. They will just square 18 and they'll square r. And they'll say either 18 squared plus r squared or 18 squared minus r squared and they think they've expanded this bracket. No, that's not how you expand a bracket like this. This bracket actually is 18 minus r. When you square something, you're multiplying it by itself. So it's actually 18 minus r multiplied by 18 minus r. So you're going to have a middle term. You have 18 times 18. It's 18 squared. 18 times minus r. And then you're going to have minus r times 18. Then you're going to have minus r times minus r. So you're going to have an r term and an r squared term and a number term. Okay, so that's what's going to happen here. So you're going to, the other way of doing it is using a pattern. The pattern is squaring the first term, then you're going to have 2 times the first term times the second term, so it'll be 18 squared, then you'll have 2 times 18 times minus r, which will be minus 36r, and then you'll have plus r squared at the end, okay? So 18 squared, and you're going to have because uh, it's a minus, I like to write like this, is minus, then you have 2 times 18 times r, then you're going to have plus, it's always plus because when you square, the negative term becomes positive, r squared. Okay, that's, a, that's the pattern way, and this is the way if you do it like the longest expanding, 18 times 18, 18 squared. What is 18 squared? Um, let's just work it out here. Move it on. Boom. So 18 squared. equals 324. So you're going to have um, r squared equals 144 plus 324 minus 36r plus r squared. Now, if you take away r squared from both sides, but r squared does disappear. So you're left with 0 equals 144. That's 244, 268. Four, sorry, 468. Okay, that's 468 minus 36r equals 0. So you can now solve this. I'll, do, I'll continue over here. So I can say 3r equals 468. So if you add 3r to both sides, then divide both sides by 3. 3, 36r. 36r. See, silly mistakes there. You should be careful of them. Divide both sides by 36. So R is going to be 468 divided by 36. Okay, let's move this out of the way this way. You're going to have 468 divided by, oops, what there? 468 divided by 36 gives you 13, which is exactly what we had to show. So R is equal to 13 centimeters. 13 centimeters. Okay. Okay, so that's as required there. So there's the answer to part A. Okay.